Hey, welcome to Kids Art Clubhouse. Today we're drawing a cupcake. We're glad to have you along. Make sure you subscribe, ring the little bell so you get notifications about our videos. Also watch till the end because we usually try to do something creative. We've got our pen, we've got our paper. Let's get drawing. Okay, so today we're drawing a cupcake. Now, there's a pretty basic cupcake shape. You have your little muffin holder and you have your cupcake that it's cooked and then your frosting. Now the frosting could be something that drips down here. It could also be something that has more of like a, a, a whipped cream type uh, or blob type thing up on the top here. Um, I think this with the, you know, or maybe some combination of the two is probably what what is probably most common. You know, probably actually the blob type thing. So let's see what we can do as far as that goes. Um, so to draw our base, so we're gonna draw this just a little bit slower than what I just did there. Now you could get as detailed as you wanted on this. Like you notice that on the cupcake holders, they often have the, the ribbed lines coming down and you could put those down here, but instead I'm gonna just round it off like this. Uh, and then I'll just draw a couple coming up here like this. And you got to realize as you, it, when you're looking at these, the ones on this side are going to lean this way a little, ones on this side are going to lean this way a little, ones in the middle are going to lean up a little. So um, just the, the nature of how you look at things. Um, and I'm just going to round this off like this. Now to do our little... Uh, bead of frosting on the top. So this reminds me a lot of, so whipped cream or like say a, a poop emoji type look is gonna be pretty similar to each other. I'm gonna just do a little hook there. I'll come around here. We can make this one come in a little bit more like this. I'm gonna make this one come in a little bit more like this. And then we'll want to go and finish our cupcake around here. And that would make a pretty good cupcake right there. Um, obviously we want a little bit of a impression of some shading down here so I can do that with you know, just a line down here. I can add a couple more lines if I want to give that ribbed look. I can even make them stronger if I want. And obviously the more detail you put into it, the more realistic it's going to look. Now, when I look at my cupcake, my cupcake itself looks a little bit flat, honestly, if I was to tell you. Um, that could probably be fixed, not on this particular image, but by drawing it over again, by raising this cupcake part a little higher. Um, maybe having it spill over the edge just a little bit more of that impression on the ends, and then raise it just a little bit more and then put that that dab of frosting on the top a little bit higher. Um, so that's just an observation I'm making as I'm looking at it. So anyhow, so that's our cupcake right there. And you know, if you wanted, you could make it into a happy birthday cupcake. You could make it into, um, you know, you could do different colors of frosting, different colors of cupcake holders. Um, 
you know, you could put a face on it. Obviously, I drew too much on it to put a face on it because you can't go back and erase these markers. Um, you know, and but if, let, let's say I was to do a, a, a type of a banner or something around it and write happy birthday, you know, I might... Um, do something that would... I'll give that impression of a, a birthday banner of some sort. And maybe I might write happy birthday. And this actually would work a little bit better if this end was just a little bit shorter. But, and that was completely winging it there. But kind of when you draw a banner like this, you get, you know, your thing is the folds. You know, what's, where's the fold gonna go? How's it gonna bend around itself? And when it bends, where's the other portion going to go? And if you draw them a few times, it can get pretty easy to, to tell where things will go to, um, to make it look semi-realistic. There you go, happy birthday. These as well can use some different lines for shading. Now you can add some multiple lines around it to give it a, a look of, more of a look of actual fabric or ribbon or whatever. So, there you go. Happy birthday. Well, we appreciate you watching and hope that you have a fabulous birthday, even though I know it's not your birthday. Um, enjoy your cupcake. Hope, hopefully it's delicious. Hopefully it turns out well. Have a great